，打扑克、打麻将，我觉得四个人坐这刚刚好，呀，特别好。Okay, here we are at Boche RV, and、uh, we have a ready-made RV here, and let's see what kind of factory it's coming from. Let's go to check inside. Uh, this is the factory that my wife have found, and uh, they are making RVs. But uh, as you can see, they are also making these kind of luxury vans and cars here. Here we are at the Box RV factory, and let's see how they transfer the Iveco chassis to this.、Uh, the basic model starts from this. This is an Iveco chassis. This is the starting point for the RV. Here we start to have the frame coming on on the chassis. Let's see how the frame looks. We have this all kind of setups here coming on. We have the water tanks is coming here.、Uh, what is what what is the size of the water tanks? 240 liters. That is much more what they usually have in Finland. They have much smaller in Finland, but maybe that is、uh, due to the different way of traveling. In China, you might need a lot of water, as there is not so many camping sites. In Finland, they have more camping sites, and you have free water everywhere. So, so there's a huge difference of the way of the traveling. Big water tanks are needed in China. We have a diesel heater here already. Waiting for the installation. Clear, and we have the GPS, and we have the every function what is needed. And we have been driving similar Ivecos earlier. And for the diesel cars, we also have the urea tank, so it's fulfilling the local regulations、uh, for the emissions. Eight gear automatic. Okay, we have insulation here.、Yeah. What is it? Forty、uh, millimeter. Okay, let's check the installation here. We have much more advanced here. We have the battery and the cabling. Cabling have been set up here, and the cabling. Let me look from that side. Cabling looks quite nicely done. As I'm electrician, so I'm always looking at the cabling, how it is done. We have four、uh, thousand watt and three thousand watt inverters here. And、uh, is the batteries underneath? Yeah, batteries are underneath here.、Uh, I will ask what is the battery size in this RV. Let's see. So two inverters, total power of seven thousand watts. What is the total battery size? And how much of the solar panel? How many wattage? 上面是不是有那个呃太阳能板 ？Yes. How can we say? 十度我们这个度是怎么算的 ？They have two inverters. Yes. Three thousand and four thousand watt. But what is the battery capacity? 八百安时，八百安时，十二。Eight hundred amp amps. Eight hundred amperes. Oh,、yes. that is very big. 八百安，八百安时十二伏，八百安时四十八伏。Okay, they have two battery. One is 800 ampere for 12 volt. Okay. And the one is 800 ampere for 48 volt. Okay, okay. So the solar panel power is 1,200 watt. 220 watt. 220 watt. That is quite no. No. 1,200 watt. No, 1,200 watt. Ah, that's why I was thinking 220 <laughs> watt is too small. Yeah, 1,200. Oh, 1,200 <laughs> watt. Can we go inside here, even if it's not ready? If I'm careful. Okay, let's check inside here. I suspect this is the 48 volt system. So the power in this RV is very huge. So you can have have it parked somewhere without the power connection from the grid for longer periods. And like we said, it has 1,200 watts of solar. Okay, this one will have the extension coming out from here, and.、Uh, This one also have the extension for the rear, so the spacing will go. Rear beds will be sufficient for two adults. We have been having one time renting an RV with both the side flank and the rear flank, and it makes a big difference here. It makes so 
big area compared to those who doesn't have these extendable flanks. Front here we have some supporting frame, but this is fixed supporting frame. So in this model they don't have this TV. No. Yes. Uh, this model doesn't have the TV here. Normally you will have a TV here what you can turn up to watch but okay uh, one question then then uh, where are they going to have tv because that is very important for many people uh, that's what i that's what what was my next question that are they going to have projector yes. yeah in the rv shows nowadays they start to have a lot of projectors these rvs are not equipped with a tv mm -hmm. so instead they are using the projector i think it's working okay and for the projector we will have the uh canvas coming down from here everything fully automatic i'm checking the electrical things These, uh, these have been, at least they have been crimped properly. They have been using good crimping tools, so maybe later on you will not have a problem with some loose connections. I'm a very nice light here, it will make very light inside and they have made this star, star heaven and everything. In my personal opinion, I don't care about these stars. You can choose your color. Because they still like sky. <laughs> yeah. uh, AC is running, it's cool inside, it's not so sweaty and it's set in 16 degrees and uh, this is something what is missing from many of the RVs. Is this fire or gas? Yes, fire. Fire, okay, this is a fire detector, smoke detector. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, not gas, okay. And of, of course, like all the RVs nowadays, 360 cameras for recording around the RV. Uh, we have some control panel and amazingly this is first time I see English panel even for uh, this charging equipment I'm wondering Ingyu, Chonghua, Meiyo Ingyu Can? Yes Okay, so oh. Okay Very sturdy bed and uh, something that what is helping is that uh, you don't have the TV here. Instead, we have a, using a projector, so it will make this one sturdier and easier. Let's go to Ready One. They are pushing us. He wants to work. Thank you. Please. <laughs> okay, let's go to see almost ready new one. Everything on the outside looks ready already, and uh, some shelves have been installed here, hooks for the jackets and everything. Okay, uh, this is this kind of uh, not so deep one, so you can you can wash some underwear and socks and everything, but uh, jeans might be the limit. Maybe one pair of jeans is the maximum. Uh, I have seen some RVs; they have full-size washing machines also. Maximum three kilo. Here it said so. Cooking place. We have a internal cooking place. Uh, normally these are like 800 watts, 600 watts, so they are not so powerful and. Uh, Washing sink looks quite nice. Ah, I think this is the floor heating. Is this floor heating? Uh, yes. Floor heating. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is uh, uh, like this. Uh, oh, this. Diesel heater. Mm. Chayo. Is this electrical heater? Mm, water. Yes, water. Okay, the it's water inside. <laughs> okay, sensor. Mm. Right, and what is here is also water. Yes, yes. Uh, double. Double water, uh. 240 liter something. Toilet, uh, this is a little bit different what I have seen before. It looks very nice. You have this electrical cloth rack there where you can dry some clothes, showers you also inside way. and everything. So. And uh, I suspect this can be turning, yes as you can make some space when you are taking shower. Big nice looking refrigerator 
minus 18, minus 18. Ah, this is freezer, minus 18. Freezer, minus 18. You can, maybe you can use it as a refrigerator, uh, depending what you are set, changing the set point. Okay. That's the hot water. This is the hot water, what we were asking for. Okay. Because in, in oh, the China, so oh. many people she like uh, drink tea. Okay, you yes, have yeah. this tea tray here, so you can. Normally, they pour the water like he, when they are drinking, so you can scrape off the water and put it here. Oh, this is the first time I see. But yeah, you know, this this is very 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 Chinese. Very very Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tuomas might have this kind of table also. Uh, this is. I mean, this this is a selling point for many. Many are thinking, yeah, maybe not, maybe yes, and then they will see. They go, yes, this. And this of is course, it. charging charging for wireless charging for the phone mm. right something okay we have a charging port there wireless charging and what is this for uh put water ah okay for the tea yeah this is yes. yes drinkable yes yes she can uh i think uh, this english water what is the oh. empty water <laughs> and fill water the water is coming here. Yes, yes, yes. So it's automatically filling the pot. So you have big bottles under the under the table. You have one with clean water. And when you put the pot here for heating, oh, no, there, mm. it will fill automatically uh, the tea kettle and boil it for you according to your settings. And then you have another bottle there. How was this open? Then you have an, another bottle there, which is empty. And when you're drinking your tea, you put it, pour it here and it will go to the other bottle. Yes. Okay, adjust back and forward. Yes, and a little bit up and down also. Yeah. Some very nice ideas in, the, in this factory and uh, some of them I have not seen before, even on the RV shows. It's uh, very nice. Clever ideas. And speakers. Where are the speakers uh, uh, for? Okay, yo yo. Okay, they are there. Yes, yes. But uh, okay, you basically you have some sort of surround surround system. It might, might be nice to watch some videos here in the evening after you have been walking the whole day at some sightseeing spot. And you are okay, they have electrical feet, so you can adjust the auto up or down or manually up or down these a little bit tight rubber ceilings. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. Ah, all right. Oh, here we have gas and okay, now it's locked on place and this is quite sturdy. Here we have the electrical plate. This is the first time I see gas and electrical. Normally they only have gas. This looks nice. This is luckily if I have this RV, I will not be standing here. It will be my wife. I love it. This is really nice. This is really nice. But if you are off campsite, then this is very handy. Yes. Okay, now I know the meaning of this. We can have the food here, spices here, yes. knives here, and everything. Board, and cutting board, washing place, and it's very close to. Yeah, you have the water outlet. Yes, there. really nice. Very nice. Yes. What? Yeah, you have the water outlet there. What? Is that hot water? <laughs> no, I don't think it's a hot water. It should be if it's Chinese. <laughs> Where's yeah. hot water? Yeah. <laughs> it's an idea. Yes. It's, so it's also when, true. When Chinese, uh, it's hot outside. You always want to drink hot. Yeah. So you take some hot water here. <laughs> and for Finland, if they ever make it to Finland, <laughs> yeah. they have to make it cold. <laughs> yeah. We are always drinking cold in Finland and you are drinking always hot. Yeah. So. I love it. This is really, really nice. This nice is design. One of the best ones what I have seen. Yeah. And then you have this additional cutting table here. Filling of the water. 
it's a power supply, 12 volt if you have a pump or something. And this is uh, what I have seen on the caravan exhibition stand. When you had some few beers in the night, you are co coming to your dark caravan, you know where to hold when you are stepping in. You will have the light shining in the night. There is some, some other function with this, what I did not know before the lady explained to me. So for the stairs, when you press them out, the light will come on. So you can easily see from the mirrors if your steps are out and you are driving. And when I put it back in, the lights will be off. Quite clever, quite clever. Good warning sign for you. Driving these kind of Iveco before and they are quite nice to drive. Even on the long, long, long routes. Uh, last time we drive from Shanghai to Xi'an and then took some route back to Shanghai. And it was about maybe a little, couple of years older than this model, but it was a, a pleasant full drive and very good to drive. Only thing what I had some problem with was the urea injector that got clogged and we have to take it to the repair shop.